Hey there, I'm Mike Bills with Measurable Solutions and this is Whiteboard Wednesday. Today we are talking about making it a game. And basically, you want to make everything in life a game. You know, think about it. When something is a game and there's a challenge to it, you're, you're happy. Everybody's involved. Everybody's working together, right? You got a, you got a team that's, that's working together to achieve the same, the same goal, the same end result. And I think about it back, if I go back in time as a private practice owner, when I really started making everything a game is when I really started to enjoy again going back to work. My staff enjoyed coming to work. And as a result, we took off and we had great, great gains and great growth and great experiences and we really grew together as a team and that's what you do as a family you sit around the dinner table you start joking about things it's a game and it, and it becomes fun and everybody wants to hang out and do things together and so really if you look at it from the perspective of a team let's say you're a baseball team you got a pitcher and a catcher if they're playing a game of trying to strike people out trying to not walk people trying to not give up hits they're playing a game of assigning a proper pitch and calling for that pitch, etc. And that's really what they're doing. And when they work together as a team, they're playing a game and they're going to get that win. So it's something that it took me a while to kind of wrap my head around as a, as a practice owner. But everything we do in my practice now is a game. And everything we do, we're winning at. And we're having a great time with it. And everybody's really enjoying it. we got a great team that's working together. So here's some simple steps you can do, right? I want you to pick an area of your practice that you want to improve. It could be that you want more patient visits. Great. Pick that, that's your game, put a number on it. How's your team gonna work together? And don't you set all the rules, let your team work together and figure that out, right? The catcher and the pitcher, they come up with their own signals of what a, what's a fastball, what, what's a, a number two's a, a curveball, etc. Get your staff involved in that, but pick an area that you, the owner, the manager, wants to improve as your practice. That's where you then send them in that direction. And you're gonna turn it into a game. You're gonna figure out what's the ideal scene. Okay, so a patient visits. I want 200 patient visits next week. All right, that's the goal. That's what we want. We wanna win this game and we're breaking this game down into innings. And so everybody needs to do X, Y, Z for this. Everybody's got these expectations. That's the ideal scene. You set that and you're gonna let your team kind of work together to figure out how are they gonna get that. And you as the coach and the manager, you're gonna direct them, right? You ever see a manager on, of a team on a field? No, you see the players on the field. The players are on the field because they're the ones that are carrying out that ideal scene. Because you want everybody to ultimately be silly. Have fun with it. Make it be something that everybody enjoys, that everybody really buys into. And you look at a team that's winning, they are having fun, they're high-fiving, they're jumping around, they're hugging each other, they're acting. You got grown men playing professional sports that are acting like little kids. Why? Because they're being silly and they're having a great time playing a game. You put those practices into place in your practice and I guarantee you, you'll have some great outcomes and some great success with it. So pick an area that you wanna improve, Figure out what the ideal scene is, get everybody involved, get everybody being silly and enjoying that game, make it a game, put some rewards out there. It doesn't have to be money. It can be you know, wearing jeans to work on Friday. It could be, the, could be the way that you, the result you get for winning the game. But make everything a game and when you do, I guarantee you, you're gonna have a much greater time coming to work, you're gonna enjoy it, your practice is gonna thrive, you're gonna succeed. So put these into place, make something into a game right now today and carry it out for the next week. And I look forward to seeing you for next week's Whiteboard Wednesday. And please post something below and we'd love to see what your comments are. Thanks a lot, have a good day.